Hi, my name is Lawrence Sandham. Today we're at the Fitness Academy Martial Arts Centre in Boreham, Chelmsford, Essex. And today I'm going to teach you some techniques from the various different martial arts that we teach here. It's first important to mention that there are many different styles of Japanese Jiu-Jitsu, many different associations and great instructors. Today we're going to look at um, a lock flow and some locks from a standing position. First of all, a wrist lock. Demonstrating the wrist lock, I'm isolating the thumb with my four fingers. My finger is going in between the two bones here. I'm mirroring my hand on top of Graham's, twisting his wrist. His hand doesn't want to be here or here, it wants to be in the centre with his arm out, it's more daunting for him. As I twist his wrist, I direct the energy of his elbow to the floor, lower my body weight slightly and I'm into a standing wrist lock. An application for this may be, for example, Graham holds on to my lapel or gi top. I isolate the thumb here. I would suggest that you distract your partner or opponent, perhaps with a low kick to the, to the knee or a strike with your hand at the same time or slightly before you try to pull his hand away in case he has a strong grip. Although isolating the thumb and gripping it tight will help with pulling this away. So I would stomp onto the knee, pull his hand away, and then turn my hips, direct his elbow towards the floor. I'm twisting his wrist as I'm isolating his thumb. So after the initial wrist lock, we're going to do an assisted wrist lock with the elbow. Snatch to the wrist here. Footwork's important, I'll pivot round here. Step forward, apply a straight arm bar. Step forward into a bent arm bar. Move out into a distance control straight arm bar. Up, Graham's elbow is touching my chest and I'm pushing down onto his wrist. He'll tap once it becomes too painful, it's important that I release immediately and quickly when he taps. 